Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the wedding of Melissa and Hilario. By special request, we're going to begin our wedding cer ceremony today with a song called The Prayer.
Good afternoon and welcome to the Parish of Christ the King. Hopefully there will be some memories here that you'll probably never forget. So welcome to Melissa and Hilario and all of you. And we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Melissa and Hilario on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the word of God that speaks to us today. Then, with Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father through Christ our Lord for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. Let us now be seated and listen to the word of God. And I call Liz Loper up for the first reading. A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and you are lovely. My lover belongs to me and I to him. He says to me, Set me as a seal on your heart, as a seal on your arm. For stern as death is love, relentless as the netherworld is devotion. Its flames are a blazing fire. Deep waters cannot quench love, nor floods sweep it away. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our second reader is Michael Loper. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. But I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mystery and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. 
It is not jealous, it is not pompous. It is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things. It believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Please stand. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the Pharisees, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart, with your whole soul, and with your whole mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Again, welcome again to the parish and uh, as we join uh, in this milestone between Hilario and his nice maid, Melissa. I have a good memory, but it's short, <laughs> so, so I have to look at my notes. Uh, anyway, the, the readings were selected by them, and it, it, it shows that we, we can sometimes judge people by, you know, just by their looks or, or, or how they act, but sometimes they, we don't look deeply into them. And in the first reading that they selected is a, really a story of God's love for humanity. And in, in looking at it, you know, uh, I, I think a lot of us who probably are married or have a lover that's further away from us in another country, when you're separated, you begin to get antsy and you say to yourself, boy, I wish I was with him or with her. And it, at, at any particular time during that abs absence. And so you know there's a feeling of, I call it, missing youitis. Uh, in, in travels that I've been on, I, I felt this from Antarctica to the Arctic when I was missing my family. So I know there's that, there's that anxiety and that, that missing of a person. But the, the, the real emotion is love. Love is at the core of that. Uh, and it, it works both ways, uh, the bride as well as the groom. Uh, and what, what happens in this is we, we look at the love of God as so intense that he wants to marry humanity. We, 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 we have those symbols in our church, like, you know, the church uh, is the... Uh, the, the mother church, and Christ is the groom of the mother church. 
so, so that we are, as part of the body of Christ, related to one another in love. And that's very serious thought, especially in the second reading, when we describe love as the, uh, uh, the job description of God. But we try to repeat it in our own lives. You know, God is patient. God is love. Love is kind. It's not jealous. It's not pompous. It's not inflated. It is not rude. And if you look at the, some of the sitcoms on TV, you kind of wonder where these elements would, would try to fit in and they have difficulty with it. So it does not seek its own interest. Love is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. And we, we see a lot of, you know, when someone's not uh, quite up to your standards, you might say, hmm, I can wish this on them or that on them or pack box them. And it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and enjoys all things. Love never fails. So with a job description like that, trying to repeat it in our own lives, it gets to be a little bit difficult because when you really love someone, you suffer. And what we've never learned is how to deal with that suffering, that separateness. Uh, and what, what happens is we begin to think outside of, you know, the, the way we, we ought to react to it. So to, to really understand who we are, we need to sometimes think about that we are created in the image and likeness of God and we are good from the beginning. Later on, our ego sets in and we begin to take control. So every time we come to a milestone like this, a wedding, we begin to reflect a little bit more on who we are, who our partners are, in the body of Christ, right here, right now, with this group. This is a groupie of love for the couple. And the couple is looking at you as their love is projected to you.
Bless and sanctify your servants in their love, O Lord, and let these rings be a sign of their faithfulness. Remind them of their love for one another through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
Please stand. Dear brothers and sisters, let us accompany this new family with our prayers that the mutual love of this couple may grow daily and that God in his kindness will sustain all families throughout the world. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For this bride and groom, for their well-being as a family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their relatives and friends, and for all who have assisted this couple, let us pray to the Lord. For young people preparing to enter marriage, and for all whom the Lord is calling to another state of life, let us pray to the Lord. For all families throughout the world, and for lasting peace among all people, let us pray to the Lord. For all members of our families who have passed from this world, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. For the Church, the holy people of God, and for unity among all Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are present in our midst, and as Hilario and Melissa seal their union, accept our prayers and fill us with your Spirit, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Graciously stretch out your right hand over these your servants, Melissa 